shed, as you can see, uh, or she shed, if you want to call it that. But it's not like your typical she shed. It's uh, full of my tools, actually. And uh, if you watched the last episode, you know that I uh, cut dry juniper on the bogs. And today, I'm going to actually do a couple projects with using the dry juniper. I have a few pieces here that's already been through the bandsaw and already dried uh, from last year that I had cut. So I am planning to do a cutting board today. And I've done several cutting boards and serving trays before. Uh, I've done it plain as well as using resin. Today I wanted to try something different, something new. I have never tried it before. But I want to do a checkered cutting board using lighter shades and darker shades of wood. So I have a couple pieces of uh, dry birch. I also have a couple pieces of dark walnut. So we're going to try this out today and see how it goes. I also got a couple more projects I had to do. i uh, got to do a couple shelves, but uh, this is going to be my first one today. So let's see where it goes. So I got my two cutting boards set up the way that I'm I want them and uh, so this one here is a juniper and a dark walnut and this one here is a juniper and a birch so this one here is a little lighter and uh, what I got to do with these now is uh, glue them and let them set I got them uh, glued now and I'm actually going to try these new clamps I got. My uh, mom gave me these for Christmas or as us Newfoundlanders would say, they mutter. So, clamp this together to hold the glue. It sticks. So I got my uh, two cutting boards done and put in place and I got them glued and all I can do now is uh, wait. I gotta wait for the glue to dry before I can touch it and do anything else with it. Uh, so I gotta wait at least a couple hours and I might even have to take them inside to dry because it's fairly cold out here in the shed. And uh, so while I'm waiting I'm gonna go inside and I'm going to uh, bottle some moose meat. my moose meat I got all my moose cut up and uh, washed and got all my bottles sterilized and I just put a piece of um, fat pork in each bottle and I'm gonna put my moose meat in there now and another little piece of fat pork on the top and about a quarter teaspoon of salt and then I'll fill them full of water and put the lids on them and uh, then I'll just put them in the pots and let them boil It's about three and a half hours to let them boil and Bottled moose meat is great. Um, we take it all the time on skidoo trips or quad trips or uh, for a quick, easy meal. And uh, 
just on an open fire and it's already pre-cooked all you got to do is heat it up and it's also great for supper time for a quick meal as well so i'm just going to finish this up here and uh, put them on the boil and then i'm back to the shed <laughs> to take them now and run them through the planer and uh, do the last bit of touches on it and trim it up and uh, I'll show you the finished product. A couple new tools I'm going to try out today is uh, I got a new skill saw and a new handheld router. Uh, anyone knows me knows I love new tools. I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. And uh, my skill saw I actually got for Christmas morning as a huge surprise. And my handheld router I got last week. So I'm excited to try these out today. So anybody looking for Dewalt products or any other tools, I got these from uh, Shears Building Supplies in Pasadena. They also have a store in Deer Lake as well as uh, St. Anthony. Um, just give the boys a call. They're excellent to deal with. And uh, they'll get you a few tools no problems whatsoever. two cutting boards done today uh, great for my next adventure because there I made them a little bit smaller so they can fit in my pack sack so that I can throw them on my skidoo or my quad or my kayak or either or uh, so I'm quite happy with them here is the dark walnut and the, the juniper one it turned out pretty good quite pleased with it I also got my moose meat bottle today as well as a few shelves put up so I'm quite pleased. It was a very productive day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I also want you guys to stay safe, take care, and tune in next time for Adventures Off Grid. And I'm going in to try my moose meat for supper. Mm -hmm.